Good day everybody and welcome back to the Rafis. This video is a requested video you guys. We're not doing a mukbang tonight. But anyway, this video is a requested video. It's um, what is what would you take in your survival bag? Okay, so this bag is not an actual survival bag because ours right now is occupied and it's just a way where we can't really literally get at it right now. So we are using a different bag. We're gonna show you the bag. But it still represents yes. the survival bag. Do you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So Daryl's going to show you the bag right quick. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get right into what's in here. We wanted to incorporate as many things as we could to show you guys some of the stuff we would take. And there's some other items that we don't have on hand right now that we're going to mention to you guys at the end of the video. Extras that we would take mm -hmm. as well. So mm -hmm. stick around towards the end if you want to hear those things also. Yeah. So bear with us if we like forget if we uh, forgot to put something in our bag or and stuff like that because we just gather stuff up right quick and also this video is for comedy you guys so you yeah. have to be able to have an open mind and it's gonna be a little bit funny this is not like a real diehard survival no kind of bag yeah it's like more of a com comedy comedy yeah this video is more comedy purposed yeah a you know little bit I mean? yeah I guess so yeah okay so the very first thing we would take in our survival bag, especially, this is in a case where husband and wife would travel together. We don't have our wedding rings on tonight because we're home yeah. and we're just relaxed and we don't need to prove to anybody that we're married. <laughs> but we're married. You guys know we're married. So um, <laughs> You guys already know that. Yeah. So we are a couple. So this video would represent what a couple, I guess, would take in a survival bag. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep, definitely. So what's the very first thing we both agreed on? Mm -hmm. That would be our very first item. <clears throat> Well, a lot of people would go in the woods and take like a book or a novel and stuff like that. So we, the number one thing that my wife and I would take is our Bibles, guys. Mm -hmm. You <clears throat> cannot, in our opinions. You can never go wrong. You cannot survive. You cannot survive, no. Without the Word of God. That's, That's right. That's how we view it, okay? Almost oh, definitely. So this yes. is the very first thing we would take. I have a Bible like Daryl's. Um, a bigger Bible, mm -hmm. but I would definitely take my little Bible in a survival bag. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. The best book ever written. Okay? Yes. Yep. Okay. So that's the very first thing we would take. I hope you guys agree. Yep. Okay. The second thing is. What is it? There it is. Roll, <laughs> <laughs> a roll of paper towels, guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no. A roll of paper towels. Yep. Card game. We like to play wizard. One of the best card games on the go. Mm -hmm. yep. If you guys play this game, let us know in the comments below. Yep. And if you guys haven't tried playing this game, go ahead and give it a try. You need to try it. Yeah. This may <laughs> seem funny to you guys, but vitamin C and vitamin D would be something that Daryl and I would take in our survival bag. Mm -hmm. You got to stay healthy, okay? Yeah. Two bottles of water. Yes. You need water to survive. Most definitely. Unless you're by like a, a spring... And you know that uh, it's like good to drink. Mm -hmm. You could drink that too. Run, running water. Running water, yeah. 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 So we have a can of milk for coffee and tea. And we have an opener to punch a hole in it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So you guys, you ladies, you gentlemen, for partners that really, really do a number, like do a number number when they go to the washroom, yeah, can't live without Febreze, okay? <laughs> you need Febreze for your uh, best other half, okay? <laughs> so we have crushed tomatoes, but after we take out the crushed tomatoes, we can use it as a kittle. Of course, We yeah. could wash it out after all the stuff was out of it, the crushed tomatoes or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, you could make it at home as well. You can take a drill and drill a hole after all the contents are out. Drill a hole on that side, drill a hole on that side. Well, obviously, the lid will be off. Take a piece of water and put over, and you can uh, fill it up with water and put it over like a stick and have some boiling water over yeah. the fire. For yeah. a cup of tea. For or... a cup of tea or coffee. Yeah. yeah, exactly. See, my husband's so smart, you guys. There you go. Yep. Okay, guys, you got to have corn, okay? It's not, the, <laughs> it's not the best name brand or whatever, but uh, it's fancy. Is it fancy? I thought I seen fancy. Canada fancy. Look at that. <laughs> Peaches and cream. Gotta have canned corn, okay? That's right. Yeah. Lime and chili almonds, guys. <laughs> Gotta have some nuts. <laughs> Gotta have some nuts. Yep, yep, yep. Advil, cold, and sinus. Yep. 
You never know when you're going to get a headache. I was just going to say a headache, ain't I? <laughs> This is just to put like um, storage. Um, you could store some food that you probably had left over. What else could you use this for, honey? Um, picking berries, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Or you never know when you could use. Yeah. Uh, 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 a chummy a container. A chummy majigger. Chummy majigger. Yeah. Container. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pack of toothbrushes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You never know when you got to go to the stream and freshen up. Yeah. We forgot the toothpaste. Forgot the toothpaste. <laughs> so, you guys, make sure you take toothpaste too, okay? Yeah. <laughs> this is for Daryl because he eats meat. This is to put together um, a burger. A burger to make a burger in the woods, okay, you guys? To survive. You put your ground beef, ground moose, ground deer, whatever you want to put in there. Just like that. Oh, make a burger. <laughs> See? Daryl would really get off on having a burger in the woods, wouldn't you, honey? Of course. Of course. Yep. Can't go without TP. You gotta have toilet paper. It's a big deal right now. All over the news. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but we only have one roll. You can't come for us. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Frying pan? We would take more than one, though, eh? Oh, yeah. You know, if we had just, to go. Just to show you guys. The yeah. frying pan, maybe a, a little small dipper or something. Yep. Yep. Gotta cook. Cook mm -hmm. up a scarf. Okay, you guys. So, you know, you're going in the woods, whatever, and, you know, you're going to bathe and stuff. Every time I get in and out of, well, not in and out of the shower, but every time I get out of the shower, out of the bath, I always clean my ears with Q-tips. There's no point in coming after me in the comments because I'm always still going to do it. But anyway, <laughs> I always do that because my ears feel wet and I don't like that feeling. Mm. And so I would always take Q-tips in my survival bag. Survival what bag. about you, honey? Yeah, I would we'll take Q-tips. Are you a big Q-tip fan no, like not, me? I wouldn't. Every now and then. Yeah, it's not a life and death. Yeah, but for me it is. Okay, <laughs> for me it is. <clears throat> but I like to be clean, you know? Yeah, of course. Okay, boys, listen. If you know anything about me at all, <laughs> you know I can't go anywhere without so <laughs> I might not take the size of a bag, but I would definitely have soap in my journey. Yeah, for okay. sure. Yeah. So we take an axe with us, guys. Because you never know if, you, if we had to build like a shelter or... Um, Clave some wood for the fire mm -hmm. or stuff like that. Gotta have an axe. Yeah. Handy dandy hand saw or buck saw, whatever you guys would have. Just in case you gotta, like I say, uh, you get tar with the axe or whatever like that. Make uh, some easy work. Take a saw and saw mm -hmm. down some trees or whatever like yeah. that. Yeah. Make a shelter or something like that. Yep. Something to survive. Mm -hmm. I would have a pack of matches or... Lighter, Whatever. Or lighter. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Barbecue lighter. Yep. <laughs> Daryl. Uh, I got a utility knife, but you would use like a, like a, what do you call it? An army knife or whatever? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you have an army knife you forgot to grab. This was closer to get. Yeah, it was closer to get. I don't yeah. know where. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some rope. hammer you gotta have a hammer okay <laughs> you never know when you need to you know tap some hammer stuff yep. hammer stuff <laughs> so last but definitely not least is hand cream i was gonna say hand soap <laughs> hand cream you guys just in case your hands get really really dry you need to have some extra moisture in your life okay mm. so so like some stuff that we never add in our survival bag obviously was like a sleeping bag. Yes. And we probably would take a tent. Yeah. Um, what else? I'm trying to think now. Compass. Yeah, that's a compass. You need a compass. First aid kit. Yep. <clears throat> hmm. These are definitely extra things you'd want to take in your survival bag. Yeah, like utensils, extra shift to clothes, just yep. in case you got wet or damp. I'm thinking about all the fishing trips and stuff we went on now. Oh, fishing rod. Yep. Yeah, because that's survival. Mm. You need a fishing rod to get fish to eat. Hey, bye. Mm -hmm. Right? What about for hunting for like moose and stuff? Or oh, bear? probably. Bear? Probably have like a rifle or a gun with me just for survival, you know, like, mm -hmm. or protection too as well. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And another thing too before, did I say first aid kit? Yep, you said first aid kit. Another thing too is uh, you should wear like fluorescent clothes yes. when you go in the woods because yes. if you wear camouflage clothes or dark clothes when you're going in the woods yep or if you're out in the woods trying to survive and stuff like that like most definitely you should wear something bright so like hunters out there can see you because some people are just i don't know how to explain it some people out there are just uh 
Some people need, heedless, I guess. I was gonna say some people need to be able to see you. Yes, yeah. Right? Extra protection for your own self. Yeah. <laughs> Here I go with the hands again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What else would you take for a, in a survival bag? Uh, war, because if you want to go rabbit catching, yeah. catch some rabbits or something. Yeah. Um. Like utensils. Yeah, utensils. We said that. Okay. Mm. Pots and pans. Got all that. Yeah, got all that. I think we did good. Yeah. I think it clears it up. Yeah. So down in the comments below, let us know if in your past or in your future, what have you or what would you take in your survival bag? We would love to hear from you guys because obviously there has to be something that we probably didn't say that you guys would mention and we'd be like, oh, we should have mentioned that too. Yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah. So let us know down below in the comments. Um, what would you take or what you have take what you have took in the past mm -hmm. and just leave us a comment also what other kind of videos like this would you like to see us do yeah we have some extra time on our hands right now and we appreciate the extra time and we would like to make more content like this for you guys so um, whatever videos you would like to see us <laughs> do at home with so long as they're in with within reason yeah. you know um, mm. we could try to accommodate some of your requests so drop your requests down below and let us know yeah and another thing too we would make sure like all of our bag and contents would be waterproof mm -hmm. just in case something did happen you know yeah because if we got a lot of rain or we accidentally fell in a, fill brook, in a or... brook or something mm -hmm. at least the contents that we had in our survival kit wouldn't be all ruined yep it's soaking wet Very especially smart. like our extra shift the clothes and stuff yeah. like that like you don't want to Stand with a hair dryer in the middle of the woods, <laughs> <laughs> trying to dry your clothes with no electricity, you know. Mm. <laughs> and the number one thing that we would take would be our Bibles. Yeah, well, yeah, the Bibles would be the, the top one. But what what do we do? Mm -hmm. What do we do for a living? Oh, we would definitely take our cameras and our electronics, you guys. Yeah. We could not go anywhere without our phones and iPads and laptops, you know. So we would definitely have to take those things, too. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And a little charger pack to keep everything charged. Of course, yeah. In the middle of the woods. Of course. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> you would charge it up before you would leave, and it lasts for, like, yeah, that's a true, good true. amount of time. Yes, yeah. yes, that's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to put in the bag. I never had room in the bag, but I got it here now, and Daryl didn't know about it. I'm going to show you guys. A level. Oh my <laughs> you got to have a level, okay? <laughs> For my husband, level is a, like, a must. And I'm talking, it's like for survival for some husbands, okay? <laughs> so I just had to bring it out and show you guys that, you know, some people, some people like us would need a level. Yeah. Hey, my bubba. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you got your frying pan on top of the fire, you know, and the frying pan is tipped a little bit, I always got to make sure that's level. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You couldn't have the beans, you know, getting ready to fall out of the pan or anything. Yeah. Right? yeah. Oh, we forgot to take a loaf of bread. Oh, a loaf of bread. So I nice. got to have bread. We could, we could continue to record and record and talk mm. about more things, but like. And like uh, dry foods, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Like, because you can get these... Uh, granola bars. Granola bars, Protein yeah. Protein bars. Mm -hmm. Yes, a Anything, big must. The high protein yes. stuff like yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Nuts, pro or cans of beans. Were you like... going to say propane? No. <laughs> 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 Were you going to say propane? I don't know what I was going to say. Like, it's a tongue twister or something. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, granola bars. What do you say? Cans of beans. Yeah, like anything canned or... Uh, what else? Like dry food. You peanut know, so butter. I would take a jar butter, of peanut butter for mm -hmm. real. Yeah. Because that's protein. Like almost definitely. You know, it's yeah. something you really would need to survive. Mm -hmm. And we have protein on hand right now, like peanut butter, let me tell you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My baby ain't doing what ain't no peanut butter are yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I think that's pretty good for Yeah. Yeah. Our items. Mm. Yeah. So you guys let us know what you would take. <clears throat> uh, forgive us if we forgot anything. Yeah, please forgive us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this pretty much wraps yep, it up. Yep. So you guys, I guess this wraps up another episode today with the Ruffies. Nadine and Daryl. Nadine and Daryl. 
If you enjoyed this video today, make sure you show us some love and give us a big thumbs up. Yep. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Down below. So until next time, you guys. Peace. peace. We're out of here. Stay beautiful. Stay sexy. Stay blessed. We love every single one of you all. Yeah. Daryl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>